that's what I got from Amazon and I wasn't expecting this Vaseline to be good like wow like look anyways it's and the end of August and I was like it's I'm outside and it's moody like it's raining not now but it was raining it, that's the weather which I love and I was thinking I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking I think like I was like if you love summer if you love summer you must age your life in the most great, strong way possible. Because if I think about it, there is nothing good about summer. It's hot, you sweat, mosquito eats you. Mosquito are terrible. Then, okay, you age your life. And the only reason why you love summer so much because there is no way you like the weather, there is no way you like mosquitoes, there is no way you like the beach and uh, when you go to the beach and everything is so sticky, you don't like that. You hate your life. And summer is the only way, is the only time when you don't go to work and you gotta relax for yourself or you don't go to school. That's why the majority of people love summer because they have three months where they just have to do what they like that's why i think like if you like summer so much you might want to change your fucking lifestyle <laughs> like uh, there is no way that you prefer all this wet all the stickiness all the people that smell in the streets mosquitoes everything everything that summer gives it's not something that it's enjoyable okay so i'm like you hate your life summer is the only time when you do not work that's why you love summer so much that's that's what i was thinking i was like yeah anyways this thing is vaseline please please i want to be in your pr list please look mm, the smell it's good uh, please but that's all everything <gasps> look how cute it's amazing anyways i'm enjoying it outside it's kind of fresh but it's okay because i love it okay i love it and by the way we are redoing the kitchen so i'm there is a, a freaking mess listen uh, the fridge it's outside just right there just right there and that's the fridge <laughs> i can i can pick up stuff like when i i'm thirsty i gotta and it's night i gotta be outside because in, inside it's a mess and you know we are doing the kitchen okay new kitchen finally we're gonna get everything new not everything new just the fridge and we're gonna redo stuff there is th that ugly wall is gone like anyways uh yesterday i also read some page like some pages of the book that I'm i will finish soon like other four chapters i started this book in february like there is something wrong with me with starting things and finishing and finishing like i never do that like what what is wrong with me anyways now i go by my day it's seven ten seven ten listen <laughs> do you know how to read this it's seven ten okay Sponsor me. Amazing. I love this thing. Like, anyways. Uh, by the way, next book that I would ever. Next book that I will read. I think it will be a little. 
<laughs> oh my god a little life but you know what i'm just processing the fact that that book might traumatize me forever and i don't know how to cope with that i really don't so i guess um i will buy some gray highlighters and other highlighters that have different colors because i don't want to use the color for one because i know that i'm gonna associate those colors with awful stuff and i just don't want to and gray is my least favorite color like i hate gray it's so depressing anyways yeah this is what it look like i swear this is not sponsored but if they want to sponsor me and this is every day since we are redoing the kitchen this is my alarm clock i wake up every day like this that's why i'm having headache every single day um child and it goes on for an hour it's getting a little boring like it's the day after by the way and i read half of a chapter of the book and it's really good anyways i got sad because um scrolling on tiktok that's another reason why i took a break from tiktok but not anymore like it's been three months that i use it anyways i'm so tired of being on this planet i don't know about you i don't know when things are gonna get better for people but um when are we gonna leave women alone like why women in afghanistan now they they have to go through all that why don't we leave women alone like what the fuck by the way um <laughs> there is a cow outside siren shut up like i don't understand why can't we leave women alone like So I came across from this post of some like leave women alone, bitch. Leave women alone. Listen. <laughs> the fuck? Like leave us alone. Women that go against their own rights, you're a bitch and you deserve to die. Okay? Like <laughs> abortion is murder now i'ma show you i'ma buy a fucking gun and i'm gonna show you where it, what is murder okay i'm gonna buy a gun and i show you what is murder how about that like what the fuck is wrong with y'all abortion is murder abortion is murder no it's not it never was and never will be like bitch get up for adoption adoption no bitch no <laughs> no <laughs> no i know i know i'm so sick fuck you fuck you fuck you abortion it's murder you need murder no it's not no it's not no it's not i'm so tired i'm so tired so tired i am so tired fuck you fuck you because i know people like you they really are stupid you are stupid you are stupid by the way those three days two three days were tough because my obsession for michael jackson are just it's just gone okay and I feel sorry about that. But as soon as I discovered that this man doesn't support abortion, I was like, <laughs> turn off. What a turn off. I cannot see him in the same light. Like I cannot love him, support him. I don't care how much good the music it is. When it comes to women, right, I don't care. I'm gonna like, 
I don't support you. I don't support this man anymore. Like, you know, I don't care. Like, I don't care. His music, his music, it's good. As soon as I see women suffering, it just not it. And like, he made a whole fucking song against abortion on a women should not get an abortion for for God and for this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Michael. Fuck you, what is that? What is that? Oh, for God, like, you see how much I hate religions. I hate religions, and I hate, the, I hate the way I have to follow a fucking religion that, uh, that I don't believe in God. What the fuck do you want? By the way, the Bible supports abortions. Like, what the fuck do you want? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it just makes me, it makes me go mad. It makes me go. Mad. It makes me go fucking mad. Mad. Like, I want to know what I know. The brain of pro-lifers, it's damaged. Like your brain is not working like well. You have mommy issues. You have daddy issues. Like you want to ruin other people' lives. Like, fuck you, bitch. And now I'm so angry and I'm here laying, thinking about how disgusting this fucking planet is. And I'm like, why can't women live in fucking peace? Why? Mm. Bitch, I'm mad. I am mad. I am so angry. Now, I cannot listen to his music no more like i don't want to listen to his voice i don't want to see him like i'm disgusted like it just it, as soon as i read that shit i was torn off and i said nah goodbye because women women issues for me are so important so anyways the book is good fuck you if you if you're a pro life pro life by the way because i know because I know you don't give a fuck about life. You eat meat. Palestinian kids are dying. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about life. Okay? You don't give a fuck about your life. You don't give a fuck about your children's life. You don't give a fuck about your animal life. You don't give a fuck about no fucking body. Okay? And I know that. Because every single pro-lifer is just a piece of fucking shit. They got no, no shit to do. You have nothing to do in your fucking life. Your fucking life is miserable. Okay? And you want to make other people's life miserable. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. And do, do something beautiful. Pull a gun in your head and kill yourself. Do it. Like, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Without people, people like you on this fucking planet. Amazing. Without people like you on this goddamn planet things are better things are amazing okay that's what i think anyways i was planning on not showing you what's going on but you know what i'm gonna show you that's the kitchen we are we're doing everything by the way we eat right there uh that's the mess like this is the kitchen right now um <laughs> like do you see the mess and that's in my like okay that's my parents house um bedroom like so that's the deal so we are not by the way the fridge is outside like this is the deal okay uh i'm reading this book by the way which i love it's great it's great for the mind so uh to manifest um and then i get angry for bullshit like i mean bullshit it's like important stuff about women like i'm so sick of women being told bullshit like Anyways, that's the mess that we have, okay? That's the mess that we have. That's mold. It's disgusting. So we are redoing the floor. We are redoing every single thing. The wall, it's down. Do you guys remember the wall? Yeah, gone. Um, 
those are 18 years those are 18 years of mold okay and then i wonder why i can't bring it properly like it's i think this is black mold like it's the disgusting disgusting so i talked for many minutes like and these things caught everything anyways i was saying this is the outro because honestly i don't have nothing to say and it's a mess the last thing i have to say if you're a woman stop having sex with men because men don't deserve your energy and you see how they're banning abortion mm, they are banning it because they just hate women and they want more um, people to work for corporations like they don't give a fuck about that fetus like trust me trust me they don't give a fuck about you um preserve yourself trust me not in a conservative way but in a way that it is not worth you to be sentenced to to prison for a fucking fetus fucking crumble cells like don't have sex with men because they don't care about you they don't care about protecting your rights they really don't um and you can see it by the way they did not give a shit when abortion were got banned so yeah bye see you next time which is gonna be i don't know when because i am not consistent with these vlogs because i'm a bit lazy i have nothing to do bye